Hi, this is Charlie Crocker here live at AU. Uh, we're doing a live face cast. You can see behind us the entire uh, people heading into lunch today. Uh, we're in Las Vegas, and today I have uh, Justin Hoey. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are and why you're here? Yeah, so uh, I'm the uh, product marketing manager for our early stage and what we call our revolutionary products uh, for our customers in the manufacturing industry. Okay, so you're a revolutionary. Uh, I'd like to think so. So Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> okay, well, um, what I wanted to do is talk a little bit about something that you probably already know about. There's a product called AutoCAD, Autodesk Fusion, and it ships with AutoCAD. It shipped in 2012 and in 2013. Um, Justin here knows a lot about Fusion, so I wanted to get a little bit of his point of view on uh, how it could help you. Absolutely. So with, uh, with the Fusion technology that we've uh, shipped with AutoCAD, um, it's really enabled people to easily edit 3D data from virtually any source. You know, we know there's a lot of 3D data out there that's not Autodesk data. We'd love it to be, but we know that people will work in a, a world with a lot of 3D systems. So we, wanna, we made a, a great tool to allow people to bring that in, edit it, and then do what they need to do with it in, uh, in AutoCAD and other Autodesk products. So for an AutoCAD user using Fusion, they could bring in a file from, say, uh, Katia or SolidWorks, and they could actually edit it in Fusion and then bring it into AutoCAD, mm -hmm. and then bring it back into Fusion, back into AutoCAD, that kind of thing. So, Yeah, absolutely. That's, we've seen a, and heard from a lot of people that they really love that workflow. It really enables them to, to you know, utilize that non-native data and make the edits that they need to. But a key point, I think, around Fusion is it's really meant for 3D. I mean, it's really a 3D environment. Yeah, and it's a really easy to use tool. You know, there's a, uh, you know we ov obviously offer a 3D mechanical solution called Autodesk Inventor. Um, but this, is, this tool really is for the person who has, doesn't have a lot of 3D experience or doesn't necessarily have a lot of needs to have a full 3D package uh, or mechanical package like Inventor. Fusion's a great, great solution for that person. Okay, okay so, we're here at AU, and at AU you often see new technology, new things announced, and so one of the reasons we brought Justin here is that there's a pretty big announcement that he'd like to make that is related to what we've just been talking about. So Justin, can you tell us a little bit about what you're announcing? Absolutely. So yesterday we announced Autodesk Fusion 360. So we're taking the Fusion technology that we've offered for years, and we're now actually making this a full-fledged product that's actually the first 3D mechanical CAD solution for the cloud. So 360, we've heard of BIM 360 and PLM 360 and Autodesk 360. How does Fusion 360 relate to, say, Auto, Autodesk 360? Absolutely. So it's definitely connected in with the whole Autodesk 360 or Autodesk cloud solutions. So as you're, you're modeling or as you're working on designs in Fusion 360, all the services, all the Autodesk 360 services are at your disposal as well. So you can you know, bring in and do some rendering with your, your models. You can actually do some PLM 360 stuff. So if you've got some modules there and uh, you know, BIM 360 as well, if you're actually making designs that are going to go into buildings. So if somebody's using Autodesk 360, and we've talked a lot about Autodesk 360 on our face casts, you log in with your free, your free ID, you can have storage, you can be able to view those files. Those same files are then also potentially, if they are uh, uh, able to be opened in, in, in the Fusion 360 as well. Is yeah, that correct? That, that's, that's absolutely the plan. Absolutely. Okay, that's the plan. All right, so um, how does an, uh, someone who's already using, say, Autodesk AutoCAD or Inventor, how does this really relate to their workflow? Absolutely. So with uh, the solutions that we offer today are, are very desktop enabled. So this is going to allow those people to maybe break free from their, de their current desktop solution and maybe start to embrace uh, a cloud-based uh, design solution. Um, obviously, you know, uh, uh, our desktop products uh, play a huge role in how our customers uh, get things done today, um, but we definitely see Autodesk uh, Fusion 360 as the new way of how people will collaborate, how people will design moving forward. So do you see it as a companion product or a replacement product? It's a, definitely a companion product. You know, people definitely have needs for these very powerful, very uh, uh, solutions that are very, very mature. Uh, and uh, we definitely see that people will maybe have a little bit of needs of both. 
You know, AutoCAD customers today are using uh, Fusion to, like I said before, open and edit non-native data. Uh, and inventor users are doing it for that, that same reason, but also to access maybe more of the, the free form uh, design capabilities, the industrial design capabilities. In its current form, is it something that makes sense for people who may not even want to use AutoCAD or Inventor? Does it work kind of as a standalone product as well? Absolutely, and that's one of the big things that we're doing. Since it is uh, the, the first mechanical CAD uh, for the cloud, we're definitely making this something that's completely standalone, um, and you could use just this as a industrial design solution, mechanical design solution, and be able to collaborate uh, with your teammates and your extended network. That's great. So what I don't quite understand is how this all works because it's related to the cloud. There's data that's in A360. What I'd love to do is see how some of this works. Absolutely. Okay. I think the first thing we could take a look at is the, the collaboration capabilities. So I think we've actually got a, a video here. And uh, let's go switch over to it. Here, I, I can hold the mic for you. All right, so what you're seeing here, this is the dashboard for Fusion 360. This is where your teammates, your colleagues can collaborate and view your designs and projects that you're working on in concert. Right? So you can see here that we've opened up the file. Actually, let's pause it real quick. Um, so kind of what we saw there was the, the dashboard. That's where your, your designs are stored. Um, it's where you can comment. It's where you can give feedback on designs. You can look at different versions of the designs. Really, the system takes data management completely out of the solution, or even file management out of the solution on the back end. So you can really concentrate on making sure that your network, uh, your colleagues, are all okay. working off of the right data seamlessly. So are they able to actually edit the file in this environment as well? Absolutely. Actually, what you're seeing here is actually the 3D modeling environment. It's actually all wrapped into um, the Fusion 360 ecosystem. So this 3D modeling, this 3D modeling mm -hmm. environment is also is also, <laughs> sorry, sure. this 3D modeling environment is also um, completely cloud-based, right? Absolutely, yes. Wow, that's, that's amazing. It's very cool. And then let's keep playing the video here. The next thing you're seeing is we also have the ability to do some crowd-based problem solving. So, so you can, if you've got a, a engineering question, you can go in, ask your network of specialists, or even a, a, even a larger audit, set of audience, um, say, hey, I've got this design problem. I'm not sure the best solution. Do you have any suggestions? You can ask the, the question, social networking get a bunch of uh, solutions, and then apply it to your design. So how do people get, um, how do people join that network? How do you get people to become part of your kind of crowdsource network? So if you're already part of Autodesk 360 today, you that's something that uh, it will be weaved right into that. So if anybody is on Autodesk 360, they'll be part of that that crowd uh, crowd so based. They, they, yeah. can they can opt in or something into your, your thing. Okay. Yeah, as more and more people get online with uh, with Fusion 360 and Autodesk 360, um, that network will just get bigger and bigger. Cool. Yeah. So what's, what's the next one you want to show? Yeah. So one of the things that I had mentioned is that this is a great solution for mechanical design. Um, so let's, we'll go ahead and play this video here. So we've got an example Absolutely of some over-the-ear headphones. And we're surface, leveraging some industrial design data design um, that was created inside of uh, from uh, in your uh, Fusion 360. And, group, and you can work in concert from in the same resource. type of environment Fusion collaboratively over the, uh, the, over the internet, in the cloud, on your designs. So we're seeing here that he's just, this is a cool part. It's pretty neat. He just deleted some faces and it auto-healed the whole thing. Giving you greater control over your designs without so yeah, you can really get your entire design done in the cloud uh, with your entire network. It's great. So it's it's a it's 3D modeling with real time collaboration, crowdsourcing. Exactly. It's really cool stuff. It's revolutionary. It's revolutionary. So. And then uh, the last video that we have um, is going to be on the industrial design side. So this is something that's a little bit new uh, for, for Fusion. So in the past, it's been very uh, mechanical focused. Um, but we have implemented uh, some technology we acquired over the summer called T-Spines. And we now have some great freeform capabilities to be able to create some really, really complex organic shapes in a very, very easy and fast way. So you can see here we've created you know, just a couple concepts using just one tool throughout the, the entire thing. It's really, really cool. Very quick. Yep. And here you can see he's just, we're just kind of finishing out those headphones. And Actually, then, there's only one tool that's used throughout that entire thing, to which is pretty cool. Perfect.
Well, so, you know, a lot of times when you're going through designing, you're going to use a lot of different tools to actually create your geometry, right? You're going to use extrude and revolve and subtract and all of those things. And what you saw there was he created just this one base primitive shape and just kind of pushed and pulled and manipulated that shape just using the edit form tool. That was it. The edit form tool. So, um, when is this thing going to be available? How can people get access to this? That's the big question, right? Uh, so, uh, we don't have a, a firm release date yet, but we do have a beta program we're starting up, and uh, we'd love for more people to, to sign up. We would love to get a lot of people's hands on this so that we know that we're creating the, the best software for the people that are going to use it. So if, uh, if anyone out there is interested in being part of the beta, getting their hands on this really cool software, just go to autodesk.com slash fusion360. Uh, and there's actually a link uh, near the bottom of the page that asks you to sign up for the beta. So I'm on that site here, and I'll just scroll down. So join the beta right here. So if you're interested, you can join the beta. So what this ultimately means is that you can today sign up and I think start even playing with this today. Is that uh, correct? Not quite today. We're going to be releasing it soon. But as, okay. so, as long as you sign up, uh, you're on that list to start uh, once we uh, send it out. So if somebody is an AutoCAD user and they sign up for the beta, are they going to be able to play with some of their uh, AutoCAD designs and bring those into Fusion or bring Fusion designs into AutoCAD? So, uh, so they will be able to go kind of back and forth. Right now, we don't have that complete connected experience yet, but we definitely, that's something we want to strive to create, is create a great experience between all of the all of Autodesk products. So I recommend that all you AutoCAD users go out there, do the beta, and tell them that that's what you want so they prioritize that. Exactly, yeah. If you don't tell us, then you know, we don't know, right? Exactly. So <laughs> we ask a lot of questions, uh, especially of, of you know, AutoCAD customers and our inventor customers, especially when in creating products like this. So. Well, this is revolutionary, and we have a revolutionary with us, Justin. So thank you so much for your time, and we'll see you again soon. And we're enjoying AU. I hope you go to Virtual AU and see some of the classes, and there'll be a few other face casts, so stay tuned to Facebook. Take care.